This is made possible with your loved ones, browsing the web, or even playing games using only your thoughts. This is made possible by placing a small, cosmetically invisible implant in a part of your brain that plans movements. The device is designed to interpret your neural activity so you can operate a computer or a smartphone by simply thinking about moving. No wires or physical movement are required. By participating in the PRIME study, you'd be helping to redefine the boundaries of human capability. If you've been living with quadriplegia from a spinal cord injury or with ALS, you... All right, Shalom, this is your brother, Yuanathan. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukah Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I want to say Shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth in sincerity. All right, may the blessing of election be upon your house. Now... This man, with this mark, and we're going to keep talking about it. Oh, you just talked about this the other day. You did a little. We're going to keep talking about it, man. Prophecy is chief. People are going to be put in a situation, okay, in order for them to function. All the, you know, the dainties that they're used to, going to get food, getting their medication, going to get medication from the shelf, going to get it from behind the counter, um, you know, just having a band-aid, having ointment. You know, uh, you say your, your little one has a, a baby rash, you need cream. Things are going to, common things that are easy to get at some point in this place are going to get to a point to where they're very difficult to get. This devil is going to come with a solution in the midst of the problem that he created and say, hey, if you will just bend the knee and bow and, 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 and merge with this system that we've created, Life can return to normal. Shit, it'll be better for you. That's the pitch they're going to give you, man. They're going to try to pigeonhole you into it. And if you haven't been equipped with that gift of faith and the wherewithal to know how to walk towards your how about shimmy, how about shy, you're going to fold. You're going to bend the knee. And those who even do bend the knee, you're still going to lose. There's only one way, all right, to make it out of this thing. But if you receive that mark, which is the RFID chip, which is this technology they're trying to merge you with so that you will be able to function within society. That's what buy or sell is alluding to. Um, you can't repent from that. All right. So let's read this Revelation 13 and 16 first. And he calls it all both small and great. So regardless of your tax bracket, regardless of your social status. In order to function in this society that he's trying to bring. You're going to have to do something rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark. And that word mark there in the Greek is karagma, which is a physical incision in the flesh. Let's I'll just go pull it up on a blue letter here really quick. Bear with me, you all. Huh. Repetition is the father of skill. So the word is karagma. Strong's G, 5480, Charagma, Charagma. Stamp or imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or in the right hand or wherever in your body as a badge of the followers of the Antichrist. And the scriptures say there are many Antichrists. There's a nation of people who carry out the bidding of Satan, all right? They carry out the, the, the left-hand energy in the earth, all right? And down here it says, thing carved, sculpture, Graven work, all right? Or, and then down here, in the Strong's definition, it says scratch or etching, stamp as a badge of servitude, okay? So this thing is what it is. If you're receiving this mark, you're basically giving dominion of your soul over to this man instead of the Lord. And all those who impose, uh, oppose the Lord, there's a judgment for that, all right? So now... That we got that there. Let's go to uh, Revelation 14 and 9. Okay, let's pull it up here. This is Revelation 14 and 9 here on the screen. It says, And the third angel followed them, so this is the very next chapter, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead 
or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. You're going to face judgment. It's not something you can repent from. Which he, which is poured out without mixture into his cup of indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. And the smoke of the torment ascended up forever. So this, the, the, they're going to burn here in Babylon the Great. And it's going to burn forever in memory. Okay, the same way Sodom and Gomorrah burns forever in the memories of the minds of the people. All right. So this thing is quite simple, man. Let's go to Second Thessalonians just to prove that there's a people carrying out this uh, this vibration upon the earth, man. They have that God complex. They want people to bow down and serve them. All right. This is Second uh, Thessalonians two and four. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God? Right. Just like it talks about in Isaiah the 14th chapter. The scriptures say this man wants to be like the Most High. All right. Or that is worship. So that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that I when I was at with you, I told you these things. And ye now know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. All right. And this man is being revealed in this time, especially. But back then he said this for the mystery of iniquity doth already work because the Romans were ruling at the time. Only he, he couldn't say flat out who it was, right? Because these letters had to be written in code. That they were found, um, it could be called treasons, man. Treasonous and, and executed. The same way, you know, anybody who's speaking against their agenda or America in this time, eventually is going to get to the point to where you're, we're going to be called treasonous. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And you can read about that in Second Andrews, the 16th chapter, I believe. It talks about uh, neither he lifted up hand nor sword. Okay. Showing the effortlessness in which he's going to devour the nations who oppose him. Verse 9, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. All right. They're after that work hand, that left hand energy. I believe. Let's go get it here. The working, right? Energia. Strong's G, 1753. Energia. Energia. All right. It says, in the New Testament, use only a superhuman power, whether of God or of the devil, right? Operation Strong. Okay. According to the uh, working, which agrees with the measure. All right. So... They're, they're carrying out their uh, their purpose here on the earth, all right? Which is to show that contrast of righteousness. And then it goes on to say, all right? Verse 9, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. So he's going to be performing miracles on the left-hand side. Now, in the end of that clip, you said that you saw this. If you're paraplegic or you have spinal this and that, they're going to be, you know, manufacture their own healing. To where people are going to be like, this must be of God. This must be the, the, the right way. Look at the good that comes from it. And then you, on the contrast, you're going to have the men of the Lord speaking out against it. And many of the two thirds in the nations are going to look at us like, who are these guys speaking against all this good that could be done? They're the bad guys. That's how we're going to be viewed. Until wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter takes place. Right. When this place is destroyed and we're taken up and changed, then they're going to come to the realization that they're the ones who were in error. All right, so Aberrox is out of lesson was edifying. I'm not going to make it long. Um, you know, so with that being said, if you have any questions, you can put them on the comment board. Maybe I'll see them and get to them and make a lesson on it. So with that being said, give all praises once more to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaq, Wadash. want to give double honest apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I want to say Shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth and sincerity. All right, may the blessing of election be upon your house. Shalom. <clears throat>
I can immediately feel, because you all will have implants, I can, and we measure your, your brain waves, and I can immediately tell you how the people react, or I can feel uh, how the people react um, to your answers. Uh, is it imaginable? The technology now is, and the digital technologies mainly have an analytical power. Now we go into a predictive power, and we have seen the first examples, and your company very much involved into it. But then the next step could be in, to go into a prescriptive uh, mode, which means um, uh, you you do not even have to have elections anymore because you can already uh, predict what uh, predict, and afterwards you can say why do we need elections? Because we know what the result will be. Can you imagine such a world? Fuck you, Klaus Schwab, and fuck your new world order. <laughs>